Hey there, thanks for watching another uh, Slightly Redneck video. Do a quick video here today on how to uh, preserve a rabbit's foot. I had to call a pretty good sized rabbit today, so I don't want to really leave anything to waste. I figured I'd save the rabbit's feet and uh, go ahead and uh, dry them up, make some keychains or something out of them. So, um, you know, without further ado, I'll just basically show you. I've got the two back feet here. Traditionally, rabbit's foot um, keychains are made out of the left back foot. I don't know which one's the left and which one's the right anymore, so no big deal. But really, the first step's pretty easy. I mean, cut the foot off. Um, you can see I haven't done anything really special to it. Um, there's still some tendons, and there's still the bone in there. Um, I did take off uh, the ankle. Um, there's a little joint right there. Um, you probably can't see it on camera, but you can feel it. And there's um, a bone that sits right down in there, and you can use a knife and kind of work it out of there and eventually get it out. So, But that's it. I've washed them in uh, soap and water, and... Uh, you know, kind of squeeze the, the water out of them so they're not just dripping wet. But that's really about all I've done to them. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put them in a, uh, a jar. Make sure you have a jar that they'll actually fit into because um, you're going to have to submerge them. Uh, what I'm going to do is pour 70% isopropyl alcohol over the top of them. And we're going to let this sit for just a couple of days. So there's nothing really special about how I do this. It's just alcohol. You want to make sure they're completely submerged in the alcohol. So, you know, a tall, skinny jar is going to be best because why use more than you have to? There we go. I got them covered. And that's about it for the first step. What I'm going to do is just cap this off and I'm going to let it set, oh, somewhere, you know, I'm not married again. So, you know, like I said, I'm not married, so I could put them wherever I want to. But, you know, you may want to hide them in a, in a place where, uh, you know, you're not going to have to worry about seeing them. So wherever you want to put them, you know, just set them, set them to the side, let them set for 48 hours. And then we'll pick it back up and we'll, uh, we'll move on to the next step. So uh, thanks for tuning in and just uh, stay tuned and we'll, we'll get back with you here and show you what to do next. All right, well, it's been a little over two days, about two and a half, almost three days that uh, these rabbit's feet have been soaking in the alcohol. You can see, uh, I don't know, not much to look at inside the jar there, but they're, they're ready to come on out. So what I'm going to do is take them out and rinse them off. I've got another mason jar here that I'm going to fill with a mixture of borax and water. This is borax. Um, if you live in a different part, I live in you know southwest Missouri, United States here, it's borax. It's a laundry uh, you know, uh, detergent booster. Um, but it, it is sodium tetraborate. So if you live in another part of the world where you can't get borax, you know, look for something called sodium tetraborate. So anyway, what I'm going to do is uh, mix this up with water. It mixes at about a 15 to 1 ratio just a little under two cups of water in here so that's about two tablespoons for for this small mason jar with just a little under two cups of water so I'm going to put two tablespoons in here put some uh, warm water and, and mix that up real good until that dissolves I'll take the feet out of the alcohol I'll rinse them off and squeeze all the alcohol and stuff out of them and then submerge them in the uh, borax water mixture uh, for you know a better part of a day a day and a half you can leave them in there for a day and a half two days if you need to and then uh, at that point, we'll, we'll pretty much be done with them, but I'll come back and I'll show you uh, what we're going to do. So let me get these taken care of, and then I'll, I'll show you the setup here um, as, we, as we come back to it. All right, so I've got my uh, rabbit feet all cleaned up from the alcohol. I've got them in my borax solution. What I'm going to do is just uh, let them set in here. What the borax does is it works its way into the, to the meat, and, uh, the, the fur, and the, the bone, and all that kind of stuff that's still left in the rabbit foot and it will, it will act as a drying agent. So when it's removed, it'll inhibit uh, bacteria growth and also dry it out uh, for preserving it. So that's one of the reasons you can use rabbit feet and do it this simply is because there's just not much meat on the feet. There's not much but bone and, and some cartilage in there. Um, you can't really use this technique to, you know, on, on other things, like if you wanted to preserve the whole rabbit head, for example, it's not gonna work. Um, there's just too much, too much in there that could go bad, but it works perfectly fine on rabbit's feet. So, um, again, I'm just going to let these sit for uh, the better part of a day, a day and a half, and then uh, what I'll do is I'll take them out, rinse them out again at that point, and uh, we'll dry them off. And once they're dried, then they're ready to go. So I'll come back and show you once these are done soaking what the next step is. One more tip. Um, don't throw out your alcohol. Um, if you're going to do this again, just put a label on here that says it's alcohol and save it. There's nothing wrong with it. You can see there's a little bug floating in there that was probably on one of the rabbit's feet that died. I don't know if you can even see it. But other than that, there's nothing at all wrong with this alcohol. If I'm going to preserve some more rabbit's feet, you, know, you can reuse it. So just stick a little label on it and, and save it for, for that. No sense in throwing it out. 
All right, almost done. Not much showing this step really. They've been uh, soaking in that borax solution for oh about a day. Um, I took them out, washed them off real good. They're kind of when you first get them out, they're kind of gritty uh, because of all the borax that you know sticks in the fur. But I washed them out real good with some warm water, uh, dried them off with a paper towel, and now uh, I'm just letting them set. I've got a little rack here in an aluminum pan that gets some good airflow around it. So I'm going to let them sit here and dry out, and they'll probably take. Uh, I'm just guessing at this maybe. A day, a day and a half to, to dry out completely. Um, this it's pretty dry right now. It's winter time, so shouldn't take too terribly long. If you put a fan on them, they'll go a little bit quicker. But that's really about it. We're gonna let these dry out, and then I'll I'll come back and do some uh, final things to show you kind of how to to finish this up. All right. Well, I'm sitting at the table here with uh, my rabbit's feet. They're all dried out. They've been drying out for a couple of days. Um, I cut this one down a little bit to make a keychain out of it. And the way I did that was, if you take the whole foot. Um, this is the entire foot, and you work your way from the toes back, right about there, I can kind of feel, feel it with my finger right there, where that bone connects, right there, there's a little knot. So what I did is I took a knife and I just scored the skin all the way around right above that, and I took a hacksaw and cut it off right there so I had a nice, flush, even cut. Then I took, uh, let me get the right foot here. And then uh, what I did is I took a little daub of a hot glue and I put it on the end there and kind of squished the, the fur up around the end to, to close that off and give me a nice, uh, you know, nice edge to work with. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to mount it on this keychain mount right here. And the way I got this is I bought a bag of these little uh, bells, little like sleigh bells. Uh, they're, let me find the, the package. Okay, there's what they are. Bought those at Hobby Lobby, but you can kind of see the size on those. They're 90 or 0.98 inch, and um, I just pried it open with a pair of pliers, took the ball out, and that's going to be where I'm going to seat the, the rabbit foot in there. So um, I'm going to do that with some epoxy. I've just got some uh, Gorilla Glue epoxy here. So what I'm going to do is get that all mixed up and get that mounted. So give me a second here, and we'll get going. All right, well, the uh, epoxy's cured and got a nice little rabbit foot keychain here. So this was a fun little project. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. And, uh, you know, leave your own tips, your own techniques if you do this kind of thing too. And as always, uh, God bless.